Hello everybody! Welcome to this second video in a six video series I'm calling the six steps to waking up and taking control of your life. It's a series on the basic fundamentals of what you have to get ingrained into your mind before you can accomplish anything that has to do with online business success. So as I said, this is the second video. If you would like to get the full effect of this series, I would suggest going back and watching the first video on time. Now, if uh, you have seen that already, I'm glad to see that you're back. That means that you're serious about changing your life, and that makes me happy. Because I am happy teaching other people how to be happy. It, it makes me happy. Got that? Good. So getting right into it. Now that we all know how precious time is, let us not waste it. Now that you've reflected on your past mistakes, and I hope that you did that assignment because it's important, if you didn't do the assignment, please stop watching this and go do it. I know it might be painful to think back on past failures, but it's for your own good, so please just do it. Alright, now that we've all reflected on our past mistakes, it's time to focus on our future success. Focus is energy concentrated on one spot continuously over time. It is one of the needed factors in making big things happen because the longer energy is concentrated on one spot, the greater it becomes, the larger it grows over time. So now you can see how focus through time expands. It is as simple as that. Don't overthink it. The more you focus on something, the more it begins to manifest or become real through time. It's like the example I'm sure you've heard. If not, it's a great one. It's rather brutal, but great for understanding the power of focus. In the summer, children with magnifying glasses will go outside and focus the power of the sun to burn ants and holes through paper. If they were a little too curious, like me, they would stick their hand under the focused sunlight and get burned pretty badly. I want you to notice this as well, because a lot of people miss this point when they use the magnifying glass story. When I burned my hand, it didn't hurt right away. It took a couple of seconds. The circle of sunlight on my hand had to get smaller and denser before the concentrated light hurt me or burned through the paper. Because the more focused it is, the more powerful it becomes. This is fact. This is science. This is mathematical. This is something that works every time. It isn't magic in that woo-woo, dumbed-down sense that the world uses to entertain us. But these things are indeed very magical and can be used to our advantage if we understand how these energies work. So far, you've learned that time is your playground. We do things, we take action, in time to create things. Focus is energy concentrated on one spot. Focus grows gradually. The more you focus on an action, the more that action will impact your life over time. You must focus on actions that bring you closer to your goals. The evidence of your focus will become more and more visible to everyone around you and yourself over time. If you focus on working out a little bit every day, you begin to see changes in your body in a couple of weeks over time. If you focus on spending money on your business education rather than fast food and pubs, in a few months, you start to make money online or in any other aspect of your life instead of getting sicker and poorer. You focus on learning Japanese, you get better at understanding Japanese. What you focus on grows in your life. It manifests, okay? It becomes more real. So don't focus on the drama on your television. That stuff is not just on your television. You're focusing on it is bringing it into your life as well. That's why TV is a very wonderful and dangerous thing because it is literally a mind control device for people who don't understand how the mind works. Watch Maury and Jerry Springer every day for 20 years straight and wonder why your life is a mess, man. Come on! <laughs> Focus wisely on specific things over time because it builds your life whether you're paying attention or not. Okay, so your assignment for today is to make a list of up to three areas in your life that you want to improve. Beside each area, write down one simple action you are going to do every day to better that area in your life. 
It doesn't have to be a hard action. In fact, make sure your everyday action steps are easy. I'm talking 5 to 10 push-ups every day if you want to improve working out in your life. Say hello to one stranger every day if you're trying to improve upon your shyness. Write just one page of a story every day if you're trying to finish that novel you're writing. That's how I finished writing mine. I committed myself to writing 2,500 words to 3,000 words a day and finished writing my novel in six months. Some days you may fall short, and some days you may be in the zone and do way more than you expected. So long as you do a little bit every day in that area that you're trying to improve, you will improve. That is a promise that I'm not afraid to make because it is universal law. So that is all for your second step, my friends, to the waking up and taking control of your life series. Make sure you write down your improvement areas and one simple action step that you could take every day. Remember, time is of the essence and writing these things down is very important. So do it right now. It's only 30 minutes to keep your life on track to true freedom. And when you finish your list, start taking action on your simple steps today. It's never too late to start, but the sooner you start building focus in time, the better. Tomorrow's lesson is going to be about repetition. I'm going to tell you about the fantastic power of repetition and how to use it along with the energies of focus and time to have even more control over what you get into your life and how fast you can get it into your life. All right, so that's it for today. Thank you for stopping by. Once again, it makes me really happy that you're taking the time to better yourself. You motivate me because I know that I've got a lot of improving to do myself. I'm just hoping that I'm motivating some of you. All right, so until next time, if you're into this kind of stuff, please subscribe and like. And uh, all right, I will see you tomorrow. Now go do your assignment. Get off my channel.